Hello there, guys. Uh, so, welcome to another edition of Quiz Your Biz, um, where every week, uh, at least once a week, I try and put out a video quizzing another business member within one of the groups that I'm in uh, about their business. Now, as you may be able to see uh, on the video today, unlike usual, uh, you, it's a little bit blurry. And the reason it's a little bit blurry is because... I cracked my camera <laughs> the weekend, uh, dropping my phone, cracking the corner of my camera, and I've somehow got water into my selfie cam. And now the only way I can switch the camera around uh, is once I've added him, so hopefully it should be a bit clearer after I've got uh, my guest in today. Uh, so Dan is watching already. I'll be interviewing uh, Dan Craven, and I'll try and get him on in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, it, will, it should be less blurry uh, once we get going, uh, less blurry over this side. Uh, but do not crack your waterproof phone and then take it into hot tub. It does not like that. Don't do that. Um, okay, let me try and get Dan on now, and uh, we will be quizzing him in just a moment. Dan Craven, add... If it's going to let me bring Dan onto camera. Yes, add him. Adding Dan. So once it's added him, then I should hopefully have to turn this camera around and we should get a little bit clearer than we've got at the moment. Dan, hi. Hello. Hey, it's what I'm going to try and fix my camera while I do that, while I switch it around. If you can tell everyone, Dan, what you do. So I've just recently started my business. I started accounting. Um, so as the, kind of, the name suggests, I'm an accountant. Um, yeah. Not not a standard accountant though. Um, may, many accountancy firms they focus on the statutory accounts, the year end accounts. So what I'm kind of focused on is the internal reporting that businesses sometimes don't have the time or resources to carry out themselves. Okay. Uh, so Dan, what got you into that in the first place? Why did you, why would you want to become, become an accountant? Um, it started off as an apprenticeship, really. Um, I kind of got into the studies of it. Uh, the business paid for the studies. Um, kind of just carried it on from there. So I then decided kind of recently to start my own business. So I'm still working full time for, for uh, the firm I work for. Um, but I thought, you know, on the side at the moment, start my own business and hopefully if it's a success, carry it on in the future. So is accounting something you actually you, you like doing or is it something you kind of fallen into? What, what made you start that initially? Um, I was mainly just looking for an apprenticeship to start with, um, going through all the different jobs. One of the ones I went down was possibly law or accountancy or business, so it was kind of always going down the same track of study and then work. Um, but yeah, when I came across the apprenticeship for the accountancy and got into the actual job role itself, I just never really left. Sure, and what is it about, what is it about accounting you like? Uh, is, it, is it like playing with numbers, is it helping customers, is it finding... To me uh, it's a challenge. Uh, okay. I love a challenge. Um, with internal reporting, you can be very creative as well. So like with strategy accounts, sure. you, you've got to be on the dot, kind of everyone's the same. With internal reporting, every single business could have a different report. You know, you've yeah. got to c customize it to them. Okay, and how, how many customers are you looking after at the moment? None. <laughs> uh, okay. it, it's just a, a brand new business, so <laughs> just trying to get out there sure. at the moment. Um, Okay, and what's kind of the, the goal for the business? What, what would you like it to look like in maybe a year's time? A year's time, uh, probably after a few clients on my belt, I would like to kind of expand maybe. So if, as I'm still studying full-time, etc., cetera, um, it's probably best that I don't take on too many clients at once that I can't handle. Um, so the idea would be probably to get somebody either part-time or full-time um, as an accountant as well. Yeah, sure. Okay, um, so so to looking at your, at your business now, what what do you think is the, the main way you can help customers? Who would be kind of uh, what would you be able to bring to their business to to help them? Um, so I've noticed uh, or heard quite a few times that small businesses struggle to do the internal reporting. They focus on time getting the out the government reporting done and then getting the sales in, but they don't really know what they're bringing into the business because they don't have time to spend on that reporting. Um, sure. So many of the reports that I, I work towards are to help them understand better what they're bringing in, what their costs are, what the sales are, um, and how they, how they can improve, really. Yeah. Uh, and you said that you, I think you said that you uh, help with, on our court conversation before, cash flow, is that right? Yeah, so a lot of small businesses, and well, any business really, um, has to have cash flow in order to, to survive. Without cash flow, even if you are profitable, you're not a business. <laughs> Yeah, very easy to liquidate that way. Um, so cash flow is very important to any business. 
um, which is why I'm kind of focused on that kind of mainstream. Sure. Uh, and then what, what, what would the, the customer need to do to, for you to be able to help them in that area? Um, just understand really the detail in the cash flow they need to go to. Um, so obviously the main cash flow is income, outgoes, and then your bank balance at the end. Um, but a lot of businesses, whether they want to go down to kind of the utility level or if they want to go down to electric, gas, uh, water, etc., it's all customized towards them and just getting an understanding of how they want to see all their costs and their revenue. Yeah. Uh, so, it's a, just so just so I can get an idea and maybe other people, is it that they can as well, is it more for kind of the one-man bands or is it for people with a few employees or uh, the bigger companies? Who, who, so, who would this ideally help? I mean, to start with, as I am personally a one-man band, it would probably be small businesses uh, or medium-sized businesses. Large businesses tend to have their own in-house resources and able to do these reports. So it's the small startup businesses yeah. that will need the help with these. Okay, so for, my, for myself, for example, uh, I'm a sole trader. Uh, I get incomes when, from commissions from when I, I help with, with mortgages and things. Uh, and I obviously have my outgoings as well. Um, I, I, I've never had a real problem kind of tracking when, where the money goes and, and comes from. Um, is there anything that you could do to help me or is it for more the people that, that aren't used to dealing with the numbers on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, probably mostly to deal with those who don't usually deal with it on day-to-day -day or don't like dealing with it day-to-day. -day. Um, however, you know, if, if it's saving you time, then why not outsource it? <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, so would you work with other software like QuickBooks or Xero or is it just them sending you new receipts and bank balances or...? Um, so I've worked with a few systems myself, Sage 200, uh, Web Expenses, um, I've a little bit of QuickBooks. Um, but I suppose if a client has their own system that they want to use as well, um, I'm a quick learner. Uh, so I guess, you know, if they want us to carry on using that system, then that would be okay too. Okay, great. Uh, if there is any questions in the meantime as we go along, then please ask. Uh, I think I've got, there's been, there's been a few people watching, but I've not heard any comments so far. Um, so... If I can ask here for now, Dan, uh, while I'm waiting to see if there's any, any, there's any questions. Um, if you, uh, so three top tips uh, for people to start looking at their accounts and the numbers better. Um, one thing would be just spend a little bit of time on it, you know, put some time aside and actually dig into the numbers. Sometimes, you know, as long as the top looks good, people just kind of push it to one side and that's it. But top figures, they can mean anything. You know, your business could be really, really struggling if you actually look deep into the, into the figures. So definitely spend some time okay. digging, digging the figures apart. Um, so what was the top figure compared to a, a non-top figure? So top figure uh, to me is something like profit. Uh, so it's kind of the bottom line, we've made a bit of profit. Um, whereas kind of a, a le not top figure um, is kind of like the, the cash flow, the actual sales and the cost. It, sometimes businesses don't know what cost they're, they're actually selling their products for. They think they're making a decent margin and they just carry on like year after year after year. Um, whereas actually okay. their costs are increasing much more than their prices are. Uh, then next minute, you know, we'll be making a loss. <laughs> um, so it's just, it's just really key to keep an eye on the figures. Sure. Uh, and do you have like, those conversations uh, all the time with your customers or do you guys kind of give them a report so they can look at it themselves? How does it work? Um, so to start with, kind of have a bit of a, a conversation, kind of like this, <laughs> just not on, on, on uh, Facebook Live. Um, sure. Get an understanding of what they uh, actually want out to report themselves. Because as I said, each one kind of customizable to each business, especially if it's like sales and cost of sales. Um, once you kind of get an understanding of what they want, what you can offer them, guess who then put a kind of template together. Um, if you kind of both agree on a template and it's easy to use, then you just start using it and then review it every couple of weeks um, and make improvements where needed. Okay, great. Uh, so you said you did the cash flow, uh, which is what you expect your main line business to be. Um, what was the other, the other area you covered? So kind of like uh, sales, cost of sales and kind of a contribution margin. Sure. Um, so is, is, that, is that similar or is that completely different? I think it's kind of completely different. So like the, the, the cash flow is more dealing with the money side of things, um, whereas the contribution margin is dealing with knowing your costs, uh, knowing what you're selling for, and just making sure you're making uh, kind of a, a sustainable business. Yeah. 
Okay, then. Uh, so, anything else you kind of want to add there, or tell us anything else about what, what you um, what you what you do at the moment, or what you will be doing? Um, I mean, one of the other things my we do offer is kind of a stock management as well. Um, I've noticed with quite a few businesses, they always take a lot of time off every week counting stock, uh, where they would much rather be out there selling stock. Um, so, w one of the services that is on offer is for us to count stock for them. Uh, yep. save, saving that time so they can be out selling whilst we're putting the figures together. No, absolutely. Uh, and, and then why should somebody use you instead of another accountant or another uh, firm that does this? Um, personally, I haven't actually found another firm that does this. Most accountancies, uh, accountancy firms, they deal with just the government reporting sides or tax sides or legal. Okay. So this is really kind of just internal reporting that it's not necessary for government, um, but sometimes it is necessary for internal to understand where your business is going. Yeah. Okay, uh, so just to kind of wrap that up then, if you can just summarise again uh, what you do uh, and where people can find you as well. So, accountant, um, owner of Eyesight Accounting. Um, so the website is, I'll put a link in the, in the chat afterwards um, to the right. website. Uh, all my services are on there. I've got a blog on there, which I'm trying to update once a week. Um, and yeah, I mean, all my details are there, really. Fantastic. Okay, if you put that link in there, and then anyone can uh, can they, they need to contact you directly or go through the website. Or... Can go through the website. There's a contact page on there with all the details. Um, I'm trying to put a kind of a shop on there so you can buy directly on the site, but at the moment that's not in place. Um, but yeah, can contact sure. me directly by by me any means. Okay, fantastic. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for talking to me. And uh, yeah, if anyone wants to talk to Dan, get in touch with him uh, via the website or click on the link that he's putting in somewhere down there or maybe there or there somewhere, <laughs> somewhere shortly. So yeah, cheers, Dan. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah. All right. Thanks for having me on. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Um, so let's get rid of Okay, thanks for that, and sorry for the, the slight technical problems there as well. Um, I will try and get this camera sorted out. Just kind of sit on one side and be less blurry here or here. Um, I don't know, maybe I can, I can dry out the, 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 the phone, I'm not sure. Um, okay, cheers guys, and uh, we'll be back for another edition for the one of the normal ones coming up on Friday. I just can double check who I've got. Uh, I've got Sandra Sargent, uh, Sergeant, uh, coming up on Friday. Uh, I need to double check and confirm that, but we will try and get that, that one on, and that should be at around midday on Friday the 10th. So I hope to speak to you guys then with a slightly uh, clearer picture. Thanks. Night-night.